Hey friends, happy Labor Day. On this Labor Day, I wanna make one very quick but very important point, and Luna, our Siberian Husky, is going to help me do just that. I've had Luna on some of my videos before. Luna is, um, well, Luna's place in our family was solidified on Labor Day, which is why she's in the video today on Labor Day, that we adopted her on Labor Day. She was about six months old when we adopted her, and she's been a part of our family ever since, but Labor Day is the day that we looked at Luna, and we said, Luna, you belong to us. You are part of our family, and it's the day that Luna, from that point on, could look at us and say, in her own doggy way, they belong to me. They are mine. And what does that have to do with you, or Labor Day, or the book, <laughs> book of Deuteronomy, or any of those things? It's uh, just this. Now, there's one thing that Moses apparently wanted the Israelites to hear again and again and again and again. As he's going through Deuteronomy, he's chap uh, <laughs> different chapters, uh, 15, 16, 17, and 18, the ones that we've been going through so far on this new journey of our evening encouragements. The thing that he wanted them to remember was of a, a specific phrase for God, a title for God, where he says, he is the Lord, your God. And we've emphasized that word before, that he is your God, but it's worth emphasizing again. Whether you've had a chance to rest today or today has just been exhausting, whether your soul easily finds rest or it finds a lot of trouble. You get to rest in the truth that God adopted you by choice into his family. And just as we had to pay a cost to bring Luna into our family, God also had to pay a cost to bring you into his, but a far more significant one. It was the blood of his son. It was Jesus at the crucifixion. It was the sacrifice that was made to forgive us and to bring us into God's family for eternity. And God was willing to pay that cost. Which means that whatever's going on in your life right now, whether it's easy or difficult, whether it's smooth sailing or it's kind of worrisome, whether you're surrounded by many family and friends or you feel kind of alone, you still belong to God. He is your God. And every day for the rest of your life, you get to know that he looks at you and says, that is my child. And he will never fail to treat you as such. Rest well tonight, my friends.